Cole, can you please um, use the normal engineer loadout and hold the middle of the light flanks? So this this really feels like a bit of uh, a revival stream as um, we actually have a certain gentleman in this lobby that once did some very interesting things for for Guns of Icarus. Specifically, he made a very cool and interesting video two years ago about this lovely game, about the lore side of this lovely game. And that is Mr. Bonzart down here. And if you want to check out that video and more of his amazing work, I'd recommend you check out the Retrofuture Research Foundation. And also the Asso Association of Ishtar, which is... Um, Sponsored personal steampunk project that is, I think, has a lot of stuff into it and always seems very interesting. But now, um, actually, what, what are we playing? Okay, we are playing Assault on Hard. Allowed are is the O Magnate. Have you heard of the O Magnate? No. Is that, is that a new ship? Uh, we'll find out when we enter. <laughs> has, like, has, I have has, not gone to PvE in, I think, over a year now, Seldrim, so this is a, as much an adventure for me <laughs> as it will be for the viewers. Well, this is like uh, the fourth or fifth time I'm streaming Gauntlet. So, I partially know what I'm talking about. I will start us off with ship callouts. Which is odd for PvE, but uh, I come from a casting background, so I always have to do that. Shot number one is the Imperial Wrath. It's Crusader, but for Mr. Tintwunnel. On the left, we see a Heavy Flak Mark 1, a Flak, and a Gas Mortar Mark 2. And on the right, we see another Flak Mark 1, another Flak, and another Gas Mortar Mark 2. Ship number two is the Spider. It is a Spire, piloted by Divikla. With a flak mark one and a flak on the bottom deck and two gatlings on the top deck. Um ship number three is the I am going to butcher this pronunciation. The Regalicious Lesner. Uh, on the left side we have what is that front gun? That's a, that a gas mortar mark two. That's a gas uh, mortar sorry, no, mark that's two. actually a normal that's, gas mortar. That's a normal gas mortar. I oh, am. Yeah. I think they have two normal gas mortars, and then in the back a heavy flak, and they are actually mirroring their composition. But, but I think the setup he's going for is like two normal gas mortars in the front, two gas mortars mark two in the center, or the other way around, because honestly I can't differentiate between them. I mean, they do and flaks in the back. Yeah. Yes. And uh, lastly... And... Yes. Uh, number four is the ARA Peregrine. Would the ARA actually stand for something? I don't know. Should we ask them after the match? <laughs> sure. Mm, there we see on the front the gas mortars, uh, and then double detonate. Wait. Detonator Mark One. <laughs> yeah, Detonator Mark One. It is with all these PVP guns. There. Yeah. Also, we are fighting the Fjord Baronies with their cruisers and dreadnoughts. And according to some people, the worst boss in existence. And considering <laughs> the blockade match I had seen last match on uh, last week on Veteran, where that boss just owned everyone, I can see what they mean. That boss Tempest is not messing around. Oh, the ARA Peregrine got Velcroed into terrain. Oh, that is not a nice way to go. And also, apparently, someone has disconnected. No, okay. Uh... So, we are assaulting, in case you didn't notice. So, dying is actually bad, as it will. Yes. Oh, Anglian Republic airship. Oh, oh, did. I was about to ask, did Tint just get stuck on Seldorim Spike? Well, this isn't technically it, but <laughs> it looks similar. Is it your spike now? I see how it is. Well, no, it's, uh, my, my spike is actually like more in the um, Bravo 9 area. It appears that the Regalicious and the Imperial Wrath are going for the supply ship that is running away. <laughs> yeah, it's trying the best to run away, but it's gonna die anyways. 
yeah. also when I when I first saw that Magnate Snail was like Regaleco Regaleclus Glesne. <laughs> yes, I know. I am butchering with the Regalicious. No, I, I don't know if it's actually pronounced, but I had, had to think of Regal. Uh, wait, wait. I, I have studied Latin for a year. I should be able to do this. Um... <laughs> well, I would be thinking Regale, Regale course. But I yes, had probably. French. Yes, I had French as well, and I'd rather not. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fair, fair. Oh, they are approaching the mining base, but they are quite split up. There is one. Yeah, it's actually the the Peregrine is currently um, the only one soloing the like, base. Uh, is attempting the to. Rob and the Regalicus is coming in. Uh, yeah, like the they're coming in hot. Just, the spider is just mining its own business. Uh, yeah, maybe they want to go on a mining a mining expedition or something. Yeah. Oh, they appear to be coming into the base, but they are getting lit up from the back. Mm. Also, I would like to point out something that is already being shown here very well. Good luck running any amount of PvE on a potato. Because everybody uses gas. It's just that good. <laughs> oh no, the explosion's just... yeah. Also, the boss has spawned. The Baronite... Oh, yeah, really oh fuck, what is it called? Oh, Aren't I... No, it's the Anglian Titan, is it the... Carrier! Damn carrier. It. The Baronite Carrier is on the field and uh, it's shooting its Clusterfuck ha uh, Hades. Uh, Tempest, sure, sorry, Clusterfuck ha uh, Tempest. Hades. Tempest! <laughs> Tempest Missile Launcher. It also, I mean, it also has a Clusterfuck Hades, but... Uh... Ooh, the Imperial Wrath is going close there comes the yeah they they are focusing entirely on that boss actually the yep. spider is not having a good time here the spider is still on the other side of the wall yeah and they just they they had a cruiser in their face that took them down to yeah, that, one third of perma that cruiser was chasing them the whole time and just shooting him in the back okay it's also it oh the the peregrine well is double broken Oh, but it seems that the players have decided to just fuck, uh, focus the boss, get it killed, and then proceed with the mission. Yes, I think... Even if they die once here, they can probably clear the rest of the mission if the boss is dead quite easily. And there we go, the boss has been killed. The supply ship has also been killed. War crimes have been committed. It is supplies, not civilians. You know they used to be called escape pods, or like escape. Yes, yes, that was lifeboats. I I do like to point that Ooh, out. The peregrine is struggling against those planes. Yeah, but it is moonshine drift. Uh, sorry, kerosene drift sailing <laughs> into the enemy base. Is it, is it gonna hit it? No. No. Unfortunately. Oh, unfortunate, but uh, I might hit yeah. the terrain. Now I will actually go, go look if my spike is also on this version of the map. Yes, it absolutely is. It's even worse. Holy shit, it's worse on this version of the map. <laughs> huh. Anyways, the enemy manufacturing base Ooh, is... Oh, the ARA fire green just took a massive hit. I, honestly, I would just call it Ara. Ara Peregrine. <laughs> no, Fun. I am not saying... <laughs> I I know that at some point... Uh, I'm gonna go for the Ara Ara. If I do that, and I won't. <sighs> oh. So, the last, the uh, manufacturing base is on its last stage. For some reason, the Peregrine is still oh, alive. The Peregrine might die here. They are taking a pounding. Oh, oh. Uh, and just uh, about as I say that, they die. Uh, this this cloud just broke. <laughs> but with the spiders, spider, uh, spiders, uh, flak spam coming in, the base will go down, and we have our very first victory. Victory! So, we will now be moving on to...
we will now be moving on to the uh, next round of Gauntlet. Where... Well, I should actually take a moment and explain how this shit actually works, shouldn't I? That might have been useful in the first round as well, but uh, here we are. <laughs> I mean, last week I was playing in the first round, so... Oh, I believe the Okay, I'm gonna to take a per um, sip of water and I will prepare. There we go. So, what is Gauntlet all about? PvE! Done! Now, of course, there's more to it. Um, mainly, so the way this works is there are six different game modes in PvE. Each of them will hopefully be played if all the right, players are fast enough. Very well. And Tinfon, uh, shut up for a moment. Every round, Tindvonel, the organizer of this uh, lovely event, is rolling a dice. Just a six-sided dice, we're not into D&D territory here. And depending on what that roll lands on, a certain game mode is selected. He is not only rolling one dice though, he's rolling two. And if he lands a double, we'll get that game mode with a special rule set. I'll get to that when that happens. Anyways, he will roll for the game mode, and currently we are on hard difficulty, the players have just won. So, we will, they now have the option to either immediately move onto veteran difficulty, or to push it for one round. Assuming how this lobby usually goes, they will move up to veteran difficulty. So, next match will be veteran difficulty of whatever Tinfoil rolls, and now I will give you Tinfoil's ramblings again. Ah, we're playing Infiltration. Apparently. Do they have any rules about re-rolling the dice if they are on a game mode they played before? No. Yes, then he has re-rolls. No. Okay. Well, I want to actually win one of these. So we are on Galleon, the allowed. So, and for every game mode, there's a set of either... Wait. Um, five or six ships? Oh, sorry, six or seven ships. Um, that is allowed to be picked once in that specific game mode. So you're not allowed to have four galleons unless it's a special rule set. Um, it's like one galleon, one pyra, one, you know, the drill. And the allowed ships are galleon, squid, judgment, pyra, janker, stormbreaker, and goldfish. I'm gonna say top. Top rules, bottom rules, Tsunami and Hobo, change your ships. Can we be a Junker? Oh, no. oh. Raven, go back to Junker. There seems to be some discord among the crews. Yeah, yeah they're trying to figure out much. who wants to be what. And... Yeah, Hobo and Tsunami, if so, you, change, you might be what... So, and actually, this is a bit of secret intel. In meantime, the ships are ordered Hobo in the way we somewhat think is the best for the game mode. Might be wondering why Galleon is in the front. And, according to at least my personal opinion, the <laughs> best or one of the best ships to play for infiltration. Reason being, you, you pick it as you pick Galleon like for the VIP. Oh, yeah, yeah. And just survivability. Or even if you don't pick it for the VIP, you pick it for something else, and the pilot just spams airhorn all the time. And okay. serves as a it tank. It used to be in the beginning that squid well, was, the squid was meta for infiltration, and it just and that's why squid is second because you can just speed run. <laughs> Very foolishly using a air horn ability. I'm sure he'll change that when he remembers that he is the VIP, and if he attracts enemies to him, he will die and we will lose. Then trip XZ is using reload. That's totally legal. Tom also, the we have banned abilities for every game mode. In this case, it's Oversight Ram, Mine Volley, and Tar Bomb. You will see that the Mine Volley ability is banned for most of the game modes. As much fun as it is to use, it has the tendency to cause tremendous friendly fire incidents that result in the death of multiple people, usually friendlies. And usually not the people who threw the Mine Volley. I mean... That would be more the reason to allow it to be used. <laughs> well, you know, 
This is a bit of hand holding to make sure the players don't immediately lose. Also remember how my game was already somewhat suffering in the previous match. We're now fighting yeah. the Order of Chaladon. There's even more gas now. Uh, well, let's see if the players are bringing an inordinate amount of gas or not. Actually, at the moment I only see one gas mortar. That being on the... Uh, sorry, that, just, that amount just doubled. Whereas now we're bringing another gas mortar on the very creatively named Goldfish. This is the level that BVE has made a stoop to. I also don't know why that uh, Raven Turok's judgment is called Iron Liver. It's probably but... because they might be drinking a lot of moonshine. Oh no, actually they didn't bring any moonshine. They uh, Tinvon has moonshine. Oh. But I think that's more because he usually pilots as an engineer or gunner. So, and yeah, Raven Turok has brought kerosene, so I guess it's just uh, um, uh, here. Oversight. It's it's the typical case of uh, I checked, I I make sure that everybody else's loaded is correct, but I forgot my own. Which has happened to me as a pilot very often. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yes, and then you ha suddenly have Drift Sail, Moonshine in... Galleon? Uh, <laughs> no, in the you know? map. Uh, what, what's the... I am terrible at remembering names. The, the map that is literally a city. How can I forget? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, you know what the scariest thing is I have ever seen in this game. Was I spawned in? I had I was a galleon with a moonshine drift sail that spawned north of me, bumped into a building in some weird way, and then just f was ju uh, just spinning and flew across the entire map past me, yes, like right in front. <laughs> <laughs> Do you happen to know who that pilot was? Mm. <laughs> yes, it was you. Yeah, I, I thought it was me. I was gonna say, like, hey, I have a similar story like that. I once flew a galleon and <laughs> did a 360 across the map. Protect Iron Liver at all costs. I have not been able to reproduce that moment. It was amazing. Okay, we are, we are loaded. What was that sound? Uh, we are loading into a dumb match. It's infiltration. We are infiltrating the Blood Narrow. I mean, that, that water looks very healthy to me. I don't know what that's about. I mean, that just looks like they have a giant whiskey basin. <laughs> oh, fancy. That's why they bring the iron liver. Ship uh... number one is the aforementioned iron liver. It's a judgment by the Raven Turok. We are on the front. We have double double laser and a heavy flak Mark II. On the rear, we have a Gatling and an accelerator Mark II. Ship number two is Le Flèche. It's a Pyramidian pilot by Le Comte du Publanc, I think. Uh, with top deck yes. laser mortar and left side Tempest Mark II and laser. The third ship would be the Goldfish named. Goldfish, because that is a great name for a goldfish, with on the front a heavy detonator, and then on the right hand side we have the gas mortar Mark II, on the left hand side we have a gas mortar Mark II and an accelerator. Eh? Is that not an accelerator? That's a fibrous weaponized coil Mark II, weaponized mind you. Coil. Last small ship? accelerator. Uh, <laughs> the last ship is the Orleans Legacy, which is the Junker, with on the front a Hades. On the bottom deck, on the left side, we see a Cat Ling Gun. On the right hand side, we see the Lens Array. And then top, we have Double Flak. Quite a standard. Okay, oh. yeah. Yeah. 
I'm okay, so sure. the, the VIP is currently taking a slightly different approach than I was last week, meaning they stay back. Last week I was playing a Galleon and I was fully abusing the great pool of hit points I have and just rushed onto the objective. They have a lot of long range. I mean, yeah, that is actually a bully judge up front. Yes. Uh, Which is not the load I personally would bring, but uh, I'm not the the staple uh, the um, st staple. Yeah, I don't know. It's to to each their own, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you die. <laughs> it seems that they are shooting at different targets. Like, some well, are as long as there's turret that is not even aggroed yet. No. Oh, hail choppy. Come on, Zaloon. Hell choppy? Thank you. <laughs> like, t two weeks ago I had lasagna in the booth, okay? <laughs> Can you imagine the amount of hail choppy we were getting? <laughs> was lasagna, Mary, and Mars. <laughs> you can probably imagine how little we were actually talking about the game. But hail choppy yeah, I, was definitely I, I part of it. I, c I can actually imagine <laughs> people watching the stream are probably very confused. What are they talking about? What is? What are? I, what am I even watching? How is this relevant? <laughs> yes, yes, oh. very much so. So the, the one first the base has been blown up, and the Iron Liver is currently parked, plotting their tra uh, plotting their course to the next objective. And I also think supply, just ship. For the supply ship. Hey, let, let, let me add stuff, okay? And now, with the course plotted, civilians murdered, and the ship <laughs> bombed, they're gonna. And very, and very much being on fire. Yeah, I don't think they have a lot of defense against these airplanes. They have a Except single Gatling in on the back. rear. Yeah, in their back, maybe. But that's about it. Yeah, pretty much. You can also use the flak. You can also use the flak for its intended purposes, of an elf AA. But that's a bit overkill. I've aren't the planes within arming range most of the time. Doesn't matter. Like one or two, like three. One to four f Gatling bullets will take a single plane out. So. Like, it doesn't matter if it's within arming or outside of arming, a flak, flak shell will always kill a plane. Take a look at the position of the Orleans Legacy. Um, they are way ahead of their allies. Yeah, but that is actually fine, because they can just die. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is keeping the VIP alive. Speaking of keeping the VIP alive... <laughs> oh, well, the he's Goldfish has... Ignored helping their VIP. They are. Oh no, actually, they're quite close by. Yeah, I mean, the, the goldfish is doing its great, its great job at uh, taking care of the enemies. There's just more and more coming from the rear. I always feel like no one is watching this stream. So if you're watching this stream, please say hi in chat. <laughs> hey, Saldrim, what, what exactly is your stream name? <laughs> Or a forty fill? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it it is uh, actually linked in the community notice board underneath the gauntlet ping. So, go there and click click link. Or do I have to send it to you? Ah, uh, now you're making me look through all of my <laughs> conspicuous servers. The official server, okay. Also, we have a very confused AA turret here. Or AA turret here. Ah, it's firing again at uh, something. Iron liver, moving up. Also, I forgot to check previously, but I'm just gonna ask that in chat now.
Okay, so the Old One's Legacy has actually brought an air horn. So they will can spam that lovely button and everything in the area and even beyond will be attached to them and get very 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 angry at them. Well And the Olin's legacy see that the turret was very angry at them. Just died due to turret. Oh sorry, no that aren't they called like enemy AA ordnance? Ordnance? You see, those aren't turrets. That is ordnance. It is a stationary gun. It might as well be called a turret. <laughs> but you, but with that you're here hurting the poor turret's feelings. Well, at least we are hurting the turret in some way then, because it appears that they are currently ignoring it, except for the flesh. Yes, I mean, shots are being the fired. Flesh. It's just not that those shots are very effective. Speaking yeah, of the flesh, the fle flesh is know. not. It's not doing too well, and there's also an axle on the Iron Liver currently infiltrating the base. Also some planes around. The boss has spawned? They seem to be in cover, really. Like, the axle cannot hit him from their current position. Well, there's... there's... F six, seven, eight, nine ships around the corner, one and the, the, uh, and the boss. The Iron Liver might need to start fighting. <laughs> Well, the Iron River most definitely has to start fighting because there's the boss up ahead. And a considerable amount of enemies. Oh, they don't seem to be going for the supply ship this time. Maybe the Orleans Legacy will, but the Orleans Legacy is taking hits. Balloon, are you not following me? <laughs> How do you mean following you? Okay then, let's get back to the business. Team Wait, do, is... do you mean following you on on, on Twitch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, because you need to have uh, SMS uh, telephone verify. <laughs> not about to give my phone number to Twitch. I do not care uh, about my Twitch to, to follow that. me. You don't need to have that. To chat that you need oh. that, and that is because of the S. So blame the S. <laughs> if you if you follow me for a week, you can chat. I I'm following you. <laughs> Very nice. I'm disabling notifications now. Wait, there's actually three people here. Apparently, Wait. yeah. Just but they they don't they don't really feel like texting, I guess, or they are also stuck hail choppy. Hail choppy. Or they're also stuck oh in the. Oh my god! Is hail choppy just aggroing the boss? Yes. Oh, wow, that is. That's actually a decent strategy. Yeah, I think Choppy's about to. Well, Choppy was about to be gassed. Uh, but they managed to kill Choppy, the boss beforehand. Uh, MVP of the match. Oh, very much so. Choppy is always the MVP of the match. Next to Terrain, of course, but. As Terrain is the most lethal and ever undefeated enemy of Guns of Icarus. Exactly. Thousands of kills, no deaths. <laughs> I mean, the servers crashing might be terrain dying. Do we really know? But uh, no, the servers crashing is terrain killing the server. <laughs> terrain, the greatest enemy of guns of Icarus. Also, let me count: one, two, three, four, five. There's more. Six, seven. There's currently seven enemies coming in. Six. I mean, they are dispatching them quite quickly. Uh, that double laser is great at armor breaking, and those flak follow-ups from the Junker are going I mean, well. Oh, that was a very good lightning strike, actually. Uh, 
well, coil. So my game is lagging. That means there's a lot of enemy enemies and a lot of gas on the field. Um, let me check. I see. My game is currently running at a smooth 16 I FPS. I see eight enemies currently on the board. Not counting the turrets, of course. And they're all hidden within clouds. So yes, the game is having issues. Um. Okay, the Iron Liver is making their way towards the point. And what I was wanted to say is, um, you know how in PvP you have all those fancy component disabled, balloon popping, and control do do being a... Like, the concept of control being a thing? You know in PvE you have damage. Yeah, that that is. It's like... It's literally... how f It's literally just damage. Yeah, DPS. I mean, How why. fast can you kill the enemy? Hey, that's the that's only thing you need. Would be pretty good in PvE, I think. What? The Metamidian. Oh, very much. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that requires you getting oh, close. Oh, the goldfish just went down. And a Loch Gatling is too much of a, re a liability. A gas motor Mark II with burst rounds is is better. Like, my personal favorite lay, 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 uh, loadout is a Galleon with Quad Flak Mark II and two Gas Mortars Mark II. You load burst into everything, and then you go ham. Actually, meta, I think, quote-unquote meta would be to have Greased Flak Mark ones, Because I think those can two-shot anything. Uh, any of the small, en of the normal enemies. Without breaking them first, so well, break them. you had to have to break them first. That's what you bring the gas motors for. So you bring the gas motors, spam them out into the general direction of the enemy to break their armor, and then you just spam flux at them. And things will die, and they will die quickly. Seems as if the iron liver is going in for the turret base capture. Yes. And, oh, that's also okay. another coil going out, Shadow Iron claiming plenty of components. Kill. And turret going down, we are now pushing, well, we will I be. Think they, they're just trying to hold this choke point here so the iron liver can... Um, hello, can the iron liver please get back to the... Wait, did the base go down? Yes, yes, it just did. Because for me, the meter is still filled. Oh no, it just went down and the exit sign has appeared. They're just waiting for the spy ship that just spawned. Oh, uh, uh, the next last one is exit, of course, yeah. Yeah. Yep, supply ship has died. More, more war crimes have been committed. Ooh, getting to the supply ship, they need to go through, I think, two choke points. One is has like, oh, a bunch of ships just spawned in. Yes, um, like so they have, in so the initial around. pathway is rather clear, especially with the turret going down. Then they can either just uh, waltz around uh, through a lot of enemies and the turrets, or they go through the wall. Or they can just destroy the wall. Actually, I think the enemies are going to engage when they're by the turret. Uh, I mean the wall, because they are rather cl close. Yes, yes, but with Alden's legacy spamming or oh, pressing that air horn button, I assume. Oh, very much so <laughs> pressing the air horn button, as you can see that every single ship just aggroed on them. The Iron Liver will be able to just break through the wall, hopefully. They managed to get the flak through. Oh, yeah. That should have been ar that uh, would have been nice if the, that flak was armed. Yeah, it wasn't in arming range, but it's still does decent damage, so. Yeah, and now, now it's going to actually just be killed by a laser, so now they can just move forwards and get to the exit. Get I to the chopper! It might actually be faster by to go roundabout. Nah, uh, with a judgment, I don't think so, because oh, judgment is actually... there is a lot of enemies here. Yeah, but it's fine, you just need to get to the and balloon. just here. Uh, see? Have you have camps. Um, a judgment is actually the slowest ship in the game. 
And a Galleon is actually faster than a Pyra. Really? It has a higher top speed. Oh yeah, but slower acceleration, yeah. But not as much slower as you might think. Let me pull out some numbers from a random place that no one knows. Stats of Icarus? <laughs> uh, no, we actually don't need to go that far. I just need to go the, uh, to the Discord server below this one. Which is SMGS. If I consult my magic charts, the Galleon has an ac uh, acceleration of 3.2 and a top speed of 36. Pyramidian has a top speed of 34, an acceleration of 3.5, so that's just a 0.3 difference in acceleration. Well, you just I, made Galleon's haunt my one. dreams a bit more. You uh, all achieve yeah, something there, Well, now it's time for Tindvon's ramblings. Moving into the third round then, we'll have Captain swap around again, so Raven, send out your swaps to your crew, same with Comte, same with Aaron, and it looks like Aaron was already jumped out. Lad. Oh, I see. You've already, you're already doing it. And let me see, where are we going next? Well, ah, this one was uh, a case where the deck of options were stacked. Somebody took this card out of the pile and slid it onto the top. Um, based on a conversation that was being had in the Gauntlet server earlier in the week. So, if you're part of that conversation, uh, you've only got yourself to blame as we go into, obviously, Hell Difficulty having... I have a one. very bad feeling about it. Uh, Mind Launchers yeah. and Harpoons, please? Uh, well... Close. Well, I mean, close. Oh, no. Close. Oh, yes. No. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. We're on blockade. Everyone likes blockade. It's nice and easy. Uh, yes. There is some rules, however. I need to see everyone as a gunner, please. Yes! <laughs> Monk! Are we gonna go Are Monk? Are these the special no, no, no. rules? Yes. <laughs> In hell. What unholy abomination is this going to be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to now, simultaneously hate this and I need love this to at know the same time. If you have a particular type of ability. There's only one ability that's needed. Yes. It's the mind yes. volley. Banned in yes. most rule sets allowed in this one. Please swap to the mind volley if you have it. If you don't, <laughs> high using, explosive. Using a singular oh, musical chair slot at the bottom. Please move your way to the bottom ship. So, uh, for example, Bonsard, do you have the mind volley? Because <coughs> if you don't, the bottom ship is where you should be. Trips obviously does not because he doesn't have unlocked. Because uh, he only had the reload. Let's see, in the top ship, Cole, you have the mind volley. You need to change to it, sir. Oh, can people so, apparently, me? we are running Loud Manker, player. as far as I can tell. Yes. It hasn't. Maximum Manker. We're gonna be on Hell difficulty, we're gonna be running Blockade, and we're gonna run Mankers. With everybody with being. Volley, the. Uh, the Aaron. kill your allies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, when you're bringing four monkers, where's the point of not bringing the mind volley? You're already having so many minds on the field, it doesn't even matter anymore. Do you think someone will bring Tar as their... <laughs> as their captain soon? What? Do you mean for mines and, ta my mines and Tar? Yes! You should bring some burst mortars with that, and the Hades. <laughs> on front. <laughs> <laughs> there is only one ship allowed for this round. It's a junker. There is only one type of gun allowed for this round. It's a mine launcher. So yeah, in case yeah. You know, for those people that didn't realize, uh, Mr. Timbull just rounded a double apparently. And we are playing Baclade with a special rule set. That special rule set being Manka. You play Junker, you only bring mines. And additionally, everybody is a gunner, and everybody brings that lovely mind volley ability. We had a lot of people, but not everyone. And we still have everyone, but we have 14... So, yeah. Don't mind if they do, because they will. Sal, I hate you. Why? That fun. That was the worst. Or maybe it's envious. There are three... 
uh, refineries A, B, and C. Oh, that that Computer also means. Captain's going to be parked at B. <laughs> Coal's junker is going to be parked at A. Whoever is parting the third junker is going to be parked at C. And Valencia is going to be moseying around, going between A, B, and C. Where I believe Cole is trying to line. recruit me. <laughs> Who who is trying what? Cole is trying to recruit me to play. Yet. He just sent me a message. Come in, come in, come in. If you want to, go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I am not joining this shit show. So there is. So 25 mines per ship, which means we can have 125 mines. But that's not all. We have the special abilities, which are ready every minute and a half. And there's four or so of you on a ship, apart from the bottom ship. Which you could empty. not pay me to. We which means the well, the sponsor just which jumped into that slot, so you don't have to. Mine, or having deployed five mines, you go to deploy one more. The first mine you deployed explodes, so that might be used to set off a chain reaction. But you know what does set off chain reactions? The special abilities, because after, like, I don't know, a minute, the special ability sets of mines, they just seconds. go off. 30 seconds, says Kieran. Maybe Trust I was me, trying someone to... who's used this thing a lot... Yes. Maybe I was trying to mess you up. Maybe I was telling you that the pin and the grenade gave you 10 seconds and it actually gave you 5. Either way, the mm. only way we're going to defend these bases is with the power of Mega Min, and we have to blow up anything that comes in our way. If you are Junkers A, B, and C, that is Cold, Computer Club, and Shadow Aaron, you are assigned to your refinery area. You're not allowed to leave that area. If you're Valencia, you got to move to whoever is calling for your aid most. So, Cole, or Computer Club, or Aaron are shouting in your ear, Valencia, we need extra mines. I'm also going to make a slight suggestion. Since Trip XZ has the uh, special ability, the, the reload, but he doesn't have mine volley, I'm going to make a little suggestion. And I think people might agree with me here. I'm going to swap Valencia and Trip XZ around. I'm going to let Trip XZ pilot that. And I'm going to let him use the overset so that he can get between the two points, the three points, much faster if he has the overset ability. If he doesn't, then I'll let v Valencia bring it. Trip, do you have the overset ability? Is it the first ability? If not, and you'd still like to fly, then you can bring Moose. Was such the first ability? Over if you would, like to. would that be a way you would like to contribute? You will still need to fly the. Uh, Monker, which is a Junker, with huh? mines only. I don't... Wait, let me... Check the, the, the achievement. It's Old Dog Pilot. Mine Junker your way over as fast as you can using your one gunner ability. Right. We all know what we're doing. <laughs> if I see anyone... And uh, it's engine stabili stabilization. Actually... Uh, if I see Oversurge is the third one uh, in the water rank. Saldrum and Zaloon will let us know. So, Cole is at A, Computer Club Caption is at B, Shadow Aaron is at C. Valencia is going between all three. I think we know what we're doing. I couldn't make it clearer. Mine's out the port, mine's out the starboard, mine's out the aft, mine's out the front. Put Four. the mines wherever you need mine's to. Mine's out everything. Wait, did Tint yeah. One all just? If you don't. Yeah. You didn't explode. Hard. Yeah, we so have. We a... need to pay attention. We have. Yes, to yes. Very much appreciate your yeah. Or your ship. If you're ready, put O7 in the match. I will chair. explain when we're loading. Off. Let's go. The gentlemen, bombs away. Aaron, please don't bring place... rangefinder. This place is gonna be the next Hiroshima by the time we're done. <laughs> Can can you laugh at that? No, hey. uh, Cole, Raven, we should come to the VC again. So, uh, what we are tasked with is making sure that everybody stays at their post. Yeah. Cole has been assigned to Refinery A. The Hooter Club Captain has been assigned to Refinery B. And Shadow Aaron has been assigned to Refinery C. He is resigning himself to refineries, <laughs> to refinery C. Yeah, uh, and, and there's, there's and um, Valencia is yeah. a jumper. So ship number jumper, one, jumper. 
is the death machine. It is a junker piloted by Cole and it's a monker. Ship number two is the Megoman. It is a junker piloted by Computer Club Captain and it's two is a monker. <laughs> Ship number three is Do You Mine? On the front side, we have mines, surprisingly, and everywhere else as well. It is uh, captained by Shadow Aeron. And number four is Mind the Gap. It is also a Munker and piloted by Valencia. Oh, it seems they have a dropout. Oh, okay. Hope it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. a long time to spawn in. So, let's see then. The Death Machine should be going to... A, I mean, Death Machine is somewhat at A. Do Your Mind is making their way to C, and Mega Man is making their way to, to B. B. So, people are getting there. It seems as if... Also, uh, the, first vine, uh, the first mine volleys are on the field, and Cole yeah, just, saw it just successfully explode. destroyed himself. <laughs> Well, was that Gold destroying did, himself, did, or was no, that sorry. Valencia? No, it was Valencia. Valencia got credited for it. Yeah, I mean... Well, I guess Valencia is now in charge of point A. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's see then. Where is oh this uh, ship here coming in? Uh, this one here is the convoy. Yes, ship. It appears that both. So mind the gap is actually gonna go down too. So um, that is uh, we actually are about to have two. Oh god, two bombs oh. about to be delivered at A. The death machine has just respawned. They might be able to save it. There are so many mines next to this refinery, man. It is... Oh yeah, and he's about to drop into his own mines. It seems if he doesn't mind. Oh no, it. He needs to go backwards. Yeah, the... Oh no, actually, the the convoy collector here might steer into the mines, so it might kill itself if it's nice. Oh, it actually did not die. <laughs> oh. Oh, the chain reaction! <laughs> it actually, I think it only got hit by like one or two mines, so it actually survived that. I'm surprised well, it's not delivering its payload. Also, did the death machine die again? Not. Yeah, the death yeah. machine killed itself. Yes. Yes, it died to that chain reaction. It was too close. Uh, it appears as balloon got broken before. Also, it this this one this convoy. Computer. Ship here is very much not feeling like delivering its payload, it seems, because there have been two bomb carriers on A now. Well, Mind the Gap is gonna go down again. It is taking heavy fire. Uh, where is Mind the Gap even? Oh, it's uh, coming it in to save the day. day it but, is going uh, in, no. but it is, it is pretending to be a mine. And oh, yeah, okay. Also, I think, so these, these two ships here are the two bomb carriers. Both of them are heavily damaged. But they are making their way to A. They are about to deliver. And this may only happen three times. Also, I just would like to point out. There's a certain amount of bomb carriers always on the map. Bomb carrier got destroyed and the second one took some damage so, because of the chain reaction. I don't know how long we've been in this match, but you've only ever seen two bomb carriers. Because none of them have been destroyed yet. And there's oh. still a bomb unloading, uh, and the bomb carrier just dropped below the point. Yes, because they destroyed sort of the bomb carrier. And Death Machine is apparently not quite aware of its position, so this might very well be delivered. Nope, there's a mine. There's a mine volley. It's a mine volley, but it... Uh, the mine volley shot. will... Oh, yeah. bomb delivered. That ship just managed to deliver its bomb. One out of three delivered. Uh, but they did yeah. manage to take out the supply ship with their yeah, mines. It's... So next up, uh, we have two ships heading to sea. So do you mind? We'll see some action. It might be that um, mines the gap could intercept him before they arrive. 
Uh, yeah, they very much could. They're and the, the, map. They the um, death machine just died again. It well, very much is a death machine, meaning a machine being dead. Refinery A is a very hot zone at the moment. There's a lot of enemies and a lot of mines. Well, uh, theoretically oh, the speaking, it's taken a bow. It's taken a bow. Uh, theoretically speaking, um, it's fine if the refineries are swarmed by enemies because they can't actually attack the enemies. The only thing that can destroy the enemy, uh, the refineries, is the bombs. So as long as no, uh, as they don't drop the bomb. They are fine, yes. On the refineries, they are fine. So they need to drop the bomb carriers. Also, the they are... They, Mega Min is surrounded by its own mines and is taking uh, fire. Oh god, that's a bit of a shame. Actually, Mind the Gap is clearly missing the mine magician Captain Cook himself. Well, the death machine just sent down another mine body and he might very well sell it off himself again. Oh no, this 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 ship will probably set it off and oh, no chain reaction. Oh, but he's still they got destroyed anyways. So, mind the gap is currently trying to take care of this bomb carrier, but uh, they are failing to hit hit their mark. Oh, they just oh. hit. They just hit. Very nice. No hull damage though. <laughs> I think. Also, um, those sure. enemies just triggered the mine volley. Oh, the mine voyage just detonated, so... And since the death machine was dead, a harsh world just uh, claimed all those disabled and killed. <laughs> okay, Mind the Gap is finally uh, missing, getting uh, get, hit. hitting their mark. Somewhat, getting their mines on target. Not into the target. On target. There we go. Oh, some mines went into the target as well. Um... This one just now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm, Mega Man got a kill. They, oh, actually, the. They might make it harder on themselves. Um, Death Machine is very much very far away from point A at this point. Like, they are way up north. It's still active, no? It's still active on the map, at least. It is burning, but... Yeah, it might actually have... No, wait. The other ones are burning as well, so... Weird. But currently we have two heading to sea. And the Do Your Mind just died to, I'd assume, their own mine volley. Uh, that very much looks like their own mine volley. Also, the Do Your Mind is very much prepared for any possible shenanigans both the death machine and that collector could be up to. As the death machine just almost killed themselves again. It's also Mind the Gap that died, not Do Your Mind. And um, it died to an enemy ship, actually, according to the uh, kill feed. Yeah, but I think it was more like the enemy ship setting off. They were uh, actively being fired at, though, by a ship slowly chasing them. Okay, A is apparently still active. Uh, it's also, but yeah. Yep. So, Cole, like, get your ass over there. The, these people play this every week, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it might be that uh, the death machine will be able to fast travel over there, um, because it is taking fire currently. Well, he's not going to be able to fast travel as he's lacking the fast travel ability. Well, 
Fast travel as we spawn over there. Ah, uh. uh, I thought you meant oversearch. Do you mind currently taking heavy fire and almost being dead? Oh, it Very much. The death machine is trying to engage the carrier going for point A. No, it is not. Uh, I think it it's right. It is, it is busy uh, dying. Mind, mind the cap. gap just got gapped. And do you mind is really low. Yeah, both in altitude and health. Yes, but and oh, there, their carrier is coming in. The bomb carrier. Oh, but it just, it, it just, just tanked a mine, will he? Okay. It is going down. Oh, actually, I think this one is the. Oh, it yeah, is the, unloading the bomb. Th this one here is the bomb carrier, so it wasn't even remotely close okay. to the mine volley when it went off. <laughs> and do you mind? Will. Go oh, down, and the, the bomb, bomb will most likely unload unless Mind the Gap, who just spawned in, can kill it fast enough. They're running out I of time. My, uh, the bomb is already three quarters there. Need to be really yeah. quick right now. Mines are going out, but I think they wait, need they a mine volley here. Using... And it's they too late. My The bomb has been delivered. When two ships coming for B just spawned in. So now we are at the point in the game where three bomb carriers are on the map. Oh, and it does not look like Death Machine will be able to get to A in time. No, as they no, die. They just and died. Well, it might be beneficial for them. And it just the night just fell and the weather got shit. That means the boss has spawned. The mercantile brigantine is on the field. Do you mind is currently at point A. They might be able to save it. Yeah, I'm gonna allow them saving that, but they're supposed to be at sea. Yes. Uh. Did we tell them to go back to sea? You could have made a pun out of that, you know that, right? Hmm? You could have oh, made go a back to sea? Like... Oh, w would you, hey, would you mind going back to sea? Oh, come on, I'm not going for those, <laughs> no. Fruits, they're hanging that low, okay? Well, okay, I don't think they can really do anything right now oh, because... Oh, the Megumin is out of position as well. Well, the Mega Man just al was allowed to go out of position to go for shit that is headed their way, as they are understandably quite bored. So we have the Death Machine taking care of shit that they are not supposed to take care of. Yes, they are all over there. I do not get it. Uh, actually, the Death Machine. Beers at the death machine, and do you mind have swapped places? This is. That was a very big mind body. There was like three. I think that might have I been. think stacked. Yeah. Okay. No one's on C. Nope. And there's uh, one. Oh, oh, oh uh, do you mind is returning to C though? Yeah, uh, one bomb carrier that is headed for B is currently heading towards C, yes. which is Can on the other side of the map from its its destination. Okay, the, the brigantine is here. Yeah, I think the bomb carrier that is was going the wrong way has figured it out. Yeah, they turned around. Death machine is about to die again. Yes, they are Ooh. dead. Uh, I will claim, I will say something controversial right now. I think Cole has died the most times this match. Not controversial in its stream. Um, okay, mind, mind the gap. The gap just, I mean, uh, mind the gap is a close second. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> Mega Man now in the in the battle, engaging the first bomb carrier. It's that one over there. I am. But I mean, I think the Brigantine is also in this area. Or do you mind just set up a genius minefield to carry, uh, to take out the carrier, actually? Very nice. Okay, there's another bomb carrier spawn that's also headed for B. So if the three carriers on the map are currently heading for B. Only the Megaman and the Do You Mine. 
uh, sorry, the uh, Mind the Gap. I'm allowed to engage them. Mega Man just died. It appears as if Death Machine is going to try and engage as well. Yes, Death Machine is most definitely going for it. I mean, why do you make rules if you do not bother following them? Discipline your pilot. <laughs> Goes to head him over the head with a wrench. Um... Oh. Death Machine is in the middle of the fight, and honestly, they're probably gonna die in just a minute. Yes, I mean. Them uh, yes. going for it is not going to change much. Then there's two bomb carriers in this general area, one of which being that ship and the other one being, I think, this ship? This and that. It's a shame that you can't not quite. Fact, eight amount. No longer abiding by fixed positions. Okay, Valencia just got a post lot of post-mortem kills. Actually, oh, he's on the field, so he just got a lot of kills. Yeah. They are redeeming themselves from their... Earlier deaths. Also, I think System One is calling the no longer fixed yeah. positions because uh, otherwise they probably lose. There's another carrier going for A. With the de and the death machine is on the field for once. They are moving for the carriers going towards B, though. Yeah, I think the carriers to going towards B are handled. And that's that is one. Nope, it's not. Uh, as both the Mega Man and Mind the Gap are very yeah. much in position to take care of that. Be if that they, the if they get some mind volleys on the field. Got the hang of it, so... Oops, sorry, I will just... Uh... Killed himself. That's the word I was. I, that's why I was looking for. Shadow Aaron just killed himself. He was bored because he had doesn't didn't have a job anymore. And now we have four carriers on the field, three of which All are heading for, for A. a. <laughs> Except, and the death machine is just chasing that one going for B. This is a recipe for disaster. Oh, but do you mind tactically redeployed over there? I think the boss just died. No? Is the boss still around? But I got better. It might be that the death machine accidentally killed it. <laughs> I don't see it, at least. Yeah, I don't see it but either. They didn't oh, it's there. It's there. Upgrade, so it's still it's there. Still it's... Uh, let's see. Oh, like, that it's... might be what they died to earlier. It's it's literally on C chilling uh, sh chilling there. The lovely low poly brigantine. Oh, it also has the same effect as the magnet. Oh fuck! You know, if you look at a magnet and spectate, how it goes into uh, sharp mode when you get close. And if you zoom out again, the other thing gets low poly. Oh yeah, you can see the moment where the textures come in. Okay. Oh, that is just horrible. Yes, okay. Two, col uh, two collectors are there. Do your mind is going to getting going down. mined. Uh, they keep on shooting mines. Oh, oh they just got, they actually sure just got, they just got a mine volley deployed on them. Oh. Okay, mind the gap. Successfully killing their enemy, and all three bomb carriers are now here. So oh, one very well aimed mind volley can t could theoretically speaking take out all three of them. Death machine and Mega Man are coming in. That's a good mind volley, but oh yeah, that that actually to trigger yet. Um, how do they those not get set off? They are surrounded by mines, but nothing is being triggered. There oh, we oh, go. Oh. All three of them at once. That was. 
lost. And now the Bobby. four last remaining bomb carriers are on the field. Okay. One so going for A, and three going for B. Well, they're lucky there's nothing coming for C, otherwise they'd have to face off against that boss as well. I mean, that, that, that boss is probably moving. Hmm. I'm gonna go check real No, quick. actually, it's just chilling on C still, but it's, it's yeah, I think it's moving towards A. If there is nothing really aggroing it... It's coming. It's moving towards A. Yeah. Oh, it is coming. It's the boss, man. Yeah, if it's super laser. That's no moon. Not sure how they'll handle that thing with mines. Too. Um, I was about to say they're gonna handle it with mines. <laughs> or you know Not they sure don't. Not sure how how effective it will be actually. What are you on about with effectiveness? If you have a problem, use gun. Oh, if that doesn't solve Jesus. the problem, use more gun. <laughs> The death machine is in a tight spot. Are they? Are they gonna... Yes. They oh are yeah. Being oh yeah. They're being death. lased by the super laser. Yes. Just, just look go from that laser. Boom. Well, they're about to die. Yeah, the and the bomb carrier is coming in here very fast, actually. Coming. Yeah. They and might, they it might. will get to deploy. Oh no! The the, it, with the boss is actually protecting it. Like, yeah. oh, and it's actually it's, already de it already unloading, unloading because unloading. it's very early. That's bomb very unfortunate machine. for the team here. As for some reason, that bomb carrier just got to gambit. deploy from a really far distance. Yeah, a death machine is going to have to make a gambit. Um, They're not going to make it. They might be like the, bo the boss just maneuvered itself out of position, so it's not going to be able to engage. Uh, no, that but bomb is delivered. Oh, 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 it is closing in. It is. And with that, our players have been defeated. But, to be fair, they were on the verge of winning. Yes. Because they were they were very much capable of handling those three carriers coming to B. It was just that uh, that they one carrier them. that came to A just completely fucked them up. And more importantly, the boss also coming over to say hi. Yeah. Don't attack my children, please. Don't ever talk to me or my children ever again. Exactly, exactly. Well, at least it wasn't the it wasn't the Baronite boss. <laughs> My head cannon for this match is that we blew up our own base. That's what happened. <laughs> I, yeah, I that sounds I, about right. I, 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 that was, I at one point I don't know if everyone saw this, but at one point as a cluster of mines went off and took out at least two, maybe three bomb carriers. Three bomb carriers. Time. Yeah, I that saw was that. Incredible. Uh, I said I while don't know we were how waiting. We didn't die. I, I said while times. we were waiting to respawn. I just want to see what happens when those go off. It was uh, it's beautiful. on stream. I'm so glad it's on stream, Saldrum. That that's excellent oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna give an option because we came so close to doing it on hell, and I appreciate it. I'm gonna give us an option. Sort of just you've won a, bo a bonus prize. You can, if you would like, go through and do the next round as blockade. Mine volleyed, no restriction on where you spawn, so you can fly around launching the mines, and drop difficulty to hard. I don't see how we could possibly fail that. Would anyone like to do that? Type oh, I'm cool with that, in the but let's do it on health. If you would like to do that. I'm no, good no, with we're that. We're dropping the difficulty. It's been decided. So if you mm, want to do yeah. this one more time on hard, type explosion in match chat. Well, are we going to re-attempt on right. Hell, or are we going to re-attempt on Veteran? It, it appears that they're going to try it on Hell. Uh, but uh, without fixed positions this time, though.
looks like a lot of people do want to do it on a great kaboom. I'll count that. All right, the difficulty is getting dropped. It's the arc going down. Uh, next round, they'll be very happy. Yeah, it's unanimous or Mr. Tongue. No, indeed. Okay. Difficulty uh, being happy. dropped to heart? Yeah. Yeah. A massive drop. The explosions will come faster. The ships will break still. We'll be fine. How about veteran instead? Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll get back up to veteran. Oh! Hobo turkey. <laughs> Naughty corner. Right, well. Salarim was so bad I dropped the difficulty two levels. <laughs> See, I, I'm in agreement with Cole there. We, we barely scraped that back together when we realized we had two through the goal already. If you well, remember, um. You do it in veteran. We, we were actually wondering who died the mo m most times. I think it was uh, Death Machine I first and Mind the Gap died. second. Yeah. And then I think we died. I'm making the executive decision times. to go ahead with things as we are. But captains, if you want to do some changing around the positions, you do that quickly. Remember, you do still need to be a, a, a gunner, everyone. So if you're an engineer, go to gunner. If you're a pilot, Go to gunner. If you don't want to be a pilot for this round or you're a pilot last round and you'd like to give it up to somebody else, give it up to them. And we will ready up as soon as all those conditions are met. We died, but one was on purpose to save Pete. Fair enough. So, Valencia, Cole, you need to be gunners. Compton de Point Blank, you need to be a gunner. Cole, Bonsart, Raven, would you like to move around? Also, who left for Bonsart to join? Oh, Trips went down there because he didn't have a thing. That's right. I, I'm an idiot. I, I need to be a gunner. Breaking my own rule. Right. Everyone's a gunner. Comp day, you need to be a gunner. Point you blank? Yes. Yeah, sorry. One second. So I was just setting up my ship. All right. So what? Are you telling me that you don't have a manka loader prepared? Right. How about everybody? I don't have the PvE. No. <laughs> I have the PvP. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, no. I know. I was doing the meme. Well, that failed gloriously. Forget what we're doing. Okay. No. Uh, understood. Are you still there, Mr. Saloon? Uh, Raven, can you yes, I, I'm you still here. Um. Reg reg regretting your choice of saying yes? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. This is actually fun to watch. It is, it's been a very long time since I've seen any PvE. Uh -huh. Oh, well, time to get back All in. Alright, Captain's ready up, let's go. Ah. Uh. Well. Oh, they changed the names this time. Well, it's also different captains, at least. Oh yeah. Two of them. We now have Le Comte du du Puy Blanc. It's such a it's such a ridiculous name. Le Comte du Puy Blanc. And Mechandor. And no, Mechador, no, no, do you see what he's bringing? Munker. It's... On his pilot. Oh, is that a lock? Is that Tar? Oh, yes! <laughs> that is Tar. Let's go, baby. Uh... He has made me a happy man. Yeah, I don't know why Le Comte du Blanc has a spyglass instead of something useful. Maybe because he wants to spot the shit he blows up randomly. Yeah, I... Do people actually so, use let's do glass? very useful and necessary ship callouts. Ship number one is the Death Machine. Dun, dun, dun. It is piloted by Cole, and it's a Manka. Ship number two is the Hunker Junk. It is a Jelenka, piloted by Le Comte du Publanc. C'est une Monker. Monker, ah oui. Uh, <laughs> the third ship is the... Oh, I will push this as well. The Spirna Mokaran. Uh, piloted by Mackendor. 
Uh, it is also a Munker. Surprise, surprise. But it's the only correct Munker because the pilot brought Tar. <laughs> you cannot stop me from proclaiming this. Um, and the fourth ship is the Mind Gap, piloted by Valencia. Verlancia, not Ver Valencia. Yeah. Death Machine already dying. It is, well, Cole is trying to, you know, at least he's being consistent. Yeah, he's very oh. consistently dying. And two of the convoys are going in for point A. <laughs> it, it, it tar is an abomination and everyone who brings no, it should no, be brought it, it, down by hell by it fire is, it is a great tool not because of its utility but because of the psychological warfare aspect to it everybody who uses tar deserves to be brought down to the <laughs> deepest hell imaginable <laughs> to be it tortured is, for all the eternity tool. like you taunt everyone with blind hatreds. When Including you yourself. Are. Also, I think Melancia <laughs> successfully killed him. No, actually, it was Cole uh, that just ran into a random minefield again. And also, but. And. Uh, this guy just almost, almost killed himself with his own mind body. Well, I wonder what Mechandor is doing, like, on the other side of the map. He is waiting for the eventual bomb carrier to spawn over there. Yes, but... For now, he uh, has the tar ability selected. As you can see. He's not dropping it, though. I mean, there is no benefit to having the normal captain still selected. Uh, if there's no other tools, then just star, so... Might as well. Ooh, Mind Gap is taking some hits. Yeah, they just broke. Oh, 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 oh I wasn't fast enough. There that goes. wasn't fast enough. Where, 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 where did they die? I'm really uh, not doing uh, a good job right now. They died in H8. Oh, there's and also oh, there's a bomb the, carrier. Yeah, the bomb carrier American. is going in. Yeah, that that guy is is making his way. Which one is it? Oh, the that death one. machine is gonna try and intercept. This one is the bomb carrier. Oh, there goes the yeah, mind body. And is, uh, not quite. No. And, oh, mind the, mind the gap. If they spawned a little bit further left, they would have been in such a painful spot. <laughs> Um, and the bomb is actually about to be delivered. Mind to gap, might tell. be able to save it. Yep, there we go. It's about to be delivered, and someone just oh. annihilated himself. It's actually very funny if you see like 15 messages oh, stacking no. on top of each other in the kill feed, and then at some point you'll just see someone someone oh. destroyed. There's Tar. Yeah, the spear and uh, Mokaran just went and in now, and now, the as day. they have left their position in the bottom of the map, someone is, something has spawned down there. The timing is perfect. I mean, you can't argue with Murphy's now. <laughs> Especially not in a Monk match. <laughs> oh, that... That was beautiful. I hope you it is partially thing. visible on stream. I personally wasn't paying attention. They, um, I just saw big explosions and black cloud. A, a cluster, yes, on themselves, but also on the enemy. I think uh, it was like I think it was actually a very cinematic shot, because uh, the tar cloud was technically in front of it, so you just saw all the explosions lighting up the, through the tar. The boss just spawned, or someone deployed a lot of tar. No, the boss spawned. 
Where, though? Oh, the hunk of junk is taking some fire. Oh, that. Uh, th yeah, the boss spawned on the Syrna Mokaran. Oh, they are gonna have a hard time in. Oh, Mokaran. Actually, Mokaran. And it seems that they are dead set on lazing them. Why am I getting lens flare? Never mind. Oh, the hunk junk is taking heavy hits. I'm on it, I'm on and it. Oh yeah, they actually, goes. they have been, oh, that mine void didn't deploy, if it did, that would have been so amazing. When the enemy supply there, they are not able to go for it currently. Yeah. It they have mined the bomb carrier, but they missed the wally, actually. Oh, it's and the boss has made its way, well, it's currently between A and C. Oh, are they going to deploy some more tar? Yes, yes, they're gonna yeah. try to tar the bomb carrier. They might try to tar the mines. They just tar the bomb carrier, now the... It got a mine volley deployed on it, actually two mine volleys. Rums. That wasn't, that was a bit, un that was a bit underwhelming. I just saw some hit markers go off on the death machine as that mine volley exploded, and I was like, oh, are they gonna die to this, or...? No, nah, they actually survived, for once. Right, we can see Mind to Gap is um, engaging the other convoy. Yeah, well, they're actually about to get their ass burnt off by the boss. They, they are in quite a good shape currently. Are they? They're taking a lot of damage. They, actually, they, yeah, it's actually fine. They're tanking it. Yeah. They are hard tanking it. But they're about to be get to be able to get into the range of the boss's flamethrowers. So soon they'll be yeah. on fire. They are tanking it, but they cannot deal with convoy while they're doing it. Yeah, like, oh, uh, oh, that mine volume missed. Oh, uh, they still? No, they actually... Okay, the, the air is actually doing a phenomenal job of dodging the mines here. Oh, they are flying into their own mines. Yep, they just hit two of their own mines. Oh, yeah, actually, that, this, oh. this um, convoy might die. But there's one more coming in from the mm. north. Mind gap is struggling. Anchor junk is basically non-existent. They're holding on to pixel perma. Yeah. Ooh, mind gap just took it first damage. They will... And two people just died. Hard. If mind the gap... Probably being finished off by the boss in just a second. Yes, the, their hull just dropped. Yeah, and they, are and they are receiving down. the they super laser. And also oh, the cluster just, facade. Now the cluster facade is actually going for the uh, Suna Mo uh, Mokaran. Yeah, they are still alive, oh, and dear. all bomb carriers were taken care of, and now we have two heading for A and one for B. Well, they didn't spawn too close to the target, so... It surprises me that they're not going for the supply ships at all. Well, probably because they don't have the time to do so, but... <laughs> yeah, it's just, I think it's more a case of they forgot about it. And the Brigantine just claimed another kill. Or its first kill? I don't know. I think it's his first kill. But Mind the Gap uh, is dead. Yes, but they have been able to distract that Brigantine for a long, long time. Time. Yeah, that oh, Brigantine like is now on. Uh, actually, yeah, oh, it's between A and C. Not quite on one of them. It appears that the Mokron is listening in on our stream. They just went for the spy ship. <laughs> you think someone is stream sniping? <laughs> well, I don't know actually. Honestly, I couldn't watch a stream of the same match I'm playing. Like, there's already so many voices. It would. Are there worse. voices in your head? <laughs> mm, yes, and they are telling me I never should have come here. Uh, well, now it's too late because I'm not gonna let you leave. <laughs> we still have another hour to go through. Well, half an hour. 
Oh, my there own. is no one on point B currently. Yeah. Ah, uh, but we have the death machine engaging the incoming threats. Yes. Mining away. It is uh, going for the one going for A, but yeah, B is slowly closing in. Oh, yeah, Hunk but Hunk Junk. Hunk Junk just spawned in to take care of the one in the south, I presume. Uh, they spawned in on point B. Um, and they immediately face north. The one in the south is going for point C. It needs to oh. cross the entire map. Yeah, it okay, is that's fine. Quite okay. Um, uh, I think this mine body is not going to connect, but, but Death Machine was actually popped. Did I just flip my map? Fit my camera. Oh, they, they just. They hit the ground and, and they got hit. Oh, they mindfully damaged the. Convoy carrier, but it did not kill it. Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, a hunk of junk is about to engage. The convoy carrier. Oop, oop, oop. Yep. Let the mines fly. And Death Machine just respawns near the convoy carrier going for A. Trying to go and redeem itself. Hopefully. But there's currently two other additional ships also heading for A. So plenty of coverage for A. Yeah. Nothing is going for the convoy carrier that's going to see though, except yeah, the Mokaran is really close to it, but it's going for the one for A. Hmm. Anchor Junk working on this con on this carrier here. Yeah. They're putting mines behind the target, not quite on target just yet. Oh, those are there. We go. Where'd that go? <laughs> Let's have a quick look at what the death machine is doing. Oh, the death machine is in a horrible spot. Ah, uh, the death machine died right, as, right yes. as I started looking at them. I, I, I will <laughs> to paint the situation. It was yeah stuck between mines and a hard place, <laughs> literally. Yeah, that's not a good place to be. Oh, the bomb is unloading. They have two ships there, but none is able to land. And the brigantine them. just showed up. And there's also bomber loading and B. Oh, I think the bomber loading and B should be handled by the. Yep. yep. I hope they killed themselves going. in the process. Good job. I mean, it is fast travel. Maybe they'll go for point C. Um, uh, another bomb carrier oh. spawned, going for A. The convoy collector and A has been pushed off far enough to not deploy anymore, but it's yeah. still there. Or in cover under that pipe. Ah, uh, but it's it's popped. Uh, it's double broken yeah. and sitting on terrain. So this will maybe go to terrain. Something just died. Uh, but I think the Sina Wa Morgan just died to the boss. Yes. And there's oh, the this convoy down here and might actually fi uh, die to direct fire mines. Not quite, but <gasps> still. Anger junk, respawned, holding position at C. Oh. Death Machine is trying to engage the boss. That was probably a mistake. They are preparing the mine volley. Can planes set off mines? I think not. Yeah, this is scary here. Yeah. Doing oh, a phenomenal job at avoiding the mines. The hunk junk set up a mine for the uh, fiery sea. Death machine, or sorry, the, the boss is currently engaging the mind the gap. Oh man, the mind the gap. Oh, it is so close to that carrier. Death machine is dying again. And we brought one by conventional weapons and not their own fire. Junk. Hunk of junk. Mining away. Take some damage onto that carrier. There was some perma going in. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's some good shots there. I think so far the hunk junk has like... It is valiantly defending like... It already did 
did a good job on defending a point on its own. Now it's doing this. Yeah, another bomb is unloading. Oh, Twin Amorkan is trying to Amorkan is trying to drop that, but the ca but the carrier is actually being brigantine. protected by the boss. Yeah, that brigantine. Okay, the the bind the bomb at sea is defended. Uncle Junk has managed to get the collector, get the carrier on the ground, and mined. Okay, they actually that get the one at A. Good mine volley from. The and they didn't die in the process. Uh, they just got killed by the boss, though. You spoke too soon. <laughs> well, they didn't die in the process. They got killed afterwards. Uh, mine to gap is engaging the. Next yes. bomb carry going for B. Yeah, so there's now four on the field, and three of them, the three I'm that just spawned, are going for C. <laughs> yeah. And okay. all ships that are alive, except one, are currently going for the one that is going for A, and also for, sorry, for B. The Mokaran just spawned in near C as well. Ah, very nice. Good call. Oh, oh, that's no a one, lot of mines. No that's a lot of mines. Ship, <laughs> they just... blew themselves up. <laughs> I mean, they did kill the bomb carrier. carrier in yes. Blood. Oh, a forge ship just spawned and it's going for C as well. This is going to be... It's going to be four si ships for C. And also the death machine uh, died. I... Oh. I mean, it is called fast travel. Uh... <laughs> That worked. That's one of them dead. Uh, there's still one bomb carrier missing. Because the targets are running four, and we only have three on the field. Might have to kill another one. It should be four on the field, but whatever. It'll fix itself, probably. Probably. No one is going for that last supply ship that is still up though. Maybe the Hunker Ah, Junk Hunker Junk might go first. for it. They are yeah, in a position are... to do it. They have been playing really well this match. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, Le, Le Comte du Publanc. Holding his weight. No a, a, royal, a novelty <laughs> being useful for once. Uh, let's actually go to the Mind the Gap. Currently facing their bomb carrier down here and three additional enemies. Plus, of course, their own mines, which and is the worst enemy of them all. Long. <laughs> their, their own mines, once again, claiming another supply ship is dead, and with it, I think. Oh. Well, with it, with it something else went down. On the bomb carrier. And Le Comte de Puplon has destroyed the supply ship. Yeah, is it? And oh, the and the Le 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 has also killed one. Also going for C. Okay, so the six last bomb carriers are just all going for C. I mean, it makes for an. Uh... The enemy has a, must have a real hatred of that base. Uh, the death machine just died somewhere. Oh, junk is in a bad spot. Yes, it's there's like... a lot of there's a lot shooting at them. Oh, it, <gasps> the brigand and they're dead. Is really close, but I don't know where it's going. Where is it? It is um at G five currently. Now G five. Huh. Well, it might escort that bomb it, carrier yeah, if the players are really the unlucky. Yeah, it is, it is turning around. Oh yeah, I see. It, it will probably escort the bomb carrier. Oh, mind the gap? Actually, uh, the death machine died again. Oh, yeah, I think they just sent no, a respawn. No, no, they're there, I think. Uh, yeah, they just respawned. Oh, the hunker junk has come back. It's yeah, okay, the, the mind, mind the, the gap. It, but mind the gap might die to them. Uh, mining away. Great effect, but not killing the the bomb carrier just yet. It's still alive. It is um, actually it's Going just in coming in. 
Oh, that's, it's there. Mm, that it's was. hiding behind the pipe. Yeah. It is going and low, but yeah. yeah. Have a look at how the death machine is doing against its adversary. Okay. The two last carriers are on defeat. <sighs> I'm a little tired. Other of them should be right here. Yep, I think there it is. The death machine is trying to ramp, but it might die first. It yes. died. That was very unfortunate. And now it was a we have effort to try and ram it, but the bomb carrier slowly but surely coming in there. But, and, but no the boss went in beforehand. They can no longer lose. Oh. There's only two bomb carriers on the field and three but bombs. There's the also a timer taking down now. I don't know what happens is that if that timer hits zero. And they're still alive bomb carriers. Well with how things are going. Well like the brigantine you know? just tanked the mine volley. And this bomb carrier will make it past the mine volley that was just deployed. Oh yeah, there is one bomb carrier being sneaky breaky. It will deploy. Sneaky breaky. Oh yeah, I see. Did you get that moss explosion in your uh, brick? Yep, yep. They actually popped it. Kill feed overflowing again. And another one. That bomb will deploy. That other one. Yeah, they're, they're maybe. just gonna ignore it. They're gonna let it deploy. Yeah. yeah they actually managed, managed to take one st uh, stage of the boss out. That was a nuclear explosion. That was just a, just a bright flash. Do you think they're just gonna go for the boss? Um, the three people just died, and the fourth one is about to die. <laughs> just saying. I mean, he might survive. Okay, the death machine just respawned, which is a bit of a shame because I wanted oh, to see everybody dead. Fifteen seconds on the clock. I, and they I've, are not going to kill that. I, I think when the timer at zero, they have just one. Yeah. They are trying to kill the boss, I think. Just yeah, probably. It. I mean, the enemy and technically can't win. It. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the enemy can't win if there is less than three available bomb carriers with zero delivered. Oh, they even killed the bomb carrier after they already won. Very nice. And calling me face into my camera. Yeah, it is surprising how close he is compared to like all the other captains. <laughs> it just seems that on the junker, the pilot is a bit further forwards. It's a shame that you can't look at the stats of the ships as a spectator, really. Yeah, that is a bit of a shame. I think Cole died. If... Also, it would be cool if for matches like this, it would give you a friendly fire kill counter. <laughs> Perfection hey, uh... in every way possible. Um, I noticed that some people did not approve of guys, me guys, bringing guys, guys, talk. Guys, guys, as much as I'd love to hear how wonderful or not you thought that last round was, we have really got time for one more round, and I've looked at the dice, and I've looked at what they rolled, and you see, we've got two more rounds, but only time for one more. So I'm going to give it to you straight. We can do, well, technically we've got three more, but we've only got time for one more that's interesting. We can do normal intercept, as in just on whatever difficulty it would be, which would be going up from this to hell. We can do defense with only flamers. 
All we can do, it would be on uh, Benson. But otherwise, um, <laughs> it will be veteran defense from any players. Or, or we can do show us your worst, and we will go into search and destroy on hard with the lowest rank chance. It's the lowest rank chance and the lowest rank engineers. Those are your options. That sounds amazing. So just know. Show us your worst is probably she on hard, like it's gonna be the first option. I mean everyone is exactly. enough, I think. There's only one option, let's be real here. There, Flamers. There, there are two in there are two interesting options. No. Flamers or like the worst players possible. Flamers are awesome. Wait. Are they going for worst Jordan players or like lowest level? Because if they go lowest for level. worst uh, players, I, they, I don't know if the worst there's going to be a couple of out, awkward well, discussions. We don't have any slots. Yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone play their here is for level. Uh, uh, it seems like we're going for flamer only. Fans, better. Uh, but for, I've got an idea. Okay, it what would seem like it flamers? would seem like everyone would like to do all flamers, or at least enough vocal people would like to do all flamers. We're gonna do it in veteran, we're gonna do it in devil's eye, we're gonna do it in defense. And we're gonna shake up the ships. I'm gonna nick this ship. Yeah, it's nearly two AM here, so I'm gonna leave you gentlemen for uh, tonight. Have a nice one, Bonsa. I'm glad you enjoyed. Lasagna isn't here, but I'm still gonna t ask that faithful question. Flare? <laughs> yes, one flare per ship is permitted. Who needs flares? Rules are in that chat. Flares are technically well. just long range flamers. <laughs> yes. Yes, you hear the cloud. My personal experience, it seems like the uh, Junker is a pretty good pick. Wait, isn't Flare 10 fire stacks? 15. 15, okay. Yeah, because they're like, it gives 20 fire stacks, but 20 is max fire stack, and I know it doesn't give max, so. Restriction on ships, just restriction on guns. So checking that we have. There is a restriction on ships, but yes. Only is there? Oh well, only light weapons. Well, guess, yes. Yes. True. True. You know. Imagine they added the heavy flamer to the lines. Oh god. That's legal. That junker is also legal. Uh, look, this junker is also legal. That ship is not going to be captain. Once it reappears, we'll be asking people to ready up as we are running close to time. Well, I do have to actually head off now, unfortunately, so, yeah. Bye-bye, Kieran. See you next week. Oh, see you, Kieran. Oh, Kieran, before you go. Oh, God, my bad. Ah, uh, strip. You cannot use the goldfish because it has a heavy weapon. You must use the only light weapon. Trimidian is fine, though. Remember, you must take grease damage. Oh, they can only Double take check. Greased. Yeah. Ooh. Aaron is fine. He is still fine. Friendly cop is fine. Comfy is fine. I am fine. Uh, Cole still needs Greased, Raven Turok. And... And Trip XZ. I, I don't know about the gunners, but apart from that, everybody has brought at least one sample of greased ammunition. Are allowed, uh, two other options. 
that seems like we are good to go. For, Wait, are the abilities for Shadow the Aaron. listed the only ones allowed, or are they the ones that are banned? They're the ones that are allowed. Oh, no oversearch. Uh, yes, true. I'm giving us 20 seconds to be ready before I ready us up. So get ready. Somehow Shadow Aaron doesn't have any crew. Yeah, that's really a bit of a shit. So, oh. I wonder how those flamers are going to fare against the drills. Uh, it takes a bit longer, but they get it eventually. We're heading in, and I I have to make this joke, brother. Get the flamer, the heavy <laughs> heavy flamer. flamer. <laughs> Ship number one is the pyro. It is a junker part of a shadow iron. And it has flamers. Ship number two is Ye Ol Jankmobile. It's a junker pilot with friendly corp, and it has flamers. Ship number three is the Spirna Mokron. Yet again, piloted by Mackendor with four flamers in complement. And ship number four is the Hyperion, a Pyramidian with full flamer. Piloted by Trip Xet. And. Oh fuck, where is it? Hail Choppy! Hail Choppy! Also. I, I feel as I have been indoctrinated in some kind of cult. Oh, don't worry. It's it's the cult of Choppy. Also, hey, Perion. Did I hear a bottle cruiser reporting? What? <laughs> Have you never played StarCraft? No. No, I haven't. <laughs> wow. Well, the ship <laughs> of the main character of StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty, the very first one of the three, is called Hyperion. And it's a battlecruiser. It's just the joke that all bot a battlecruiser Captains are Russians, so it doesn't sound like battle cruiser, it sounds like bottle cruiser. And when they appear on the field, they say bottle cruiser operational. Also speaking yeah. of flamers on drills, you may take a look at yeah. the A line. The old jank mobile is going hard. Yeah. It is taking a while though. Yeah, two greased flamers are going in. And Could you, uh um, yeah, you could. Oh, there comes another big attack wave. Down the A-line. Uh, no boss yet. Oh. I mean, yeah, it's I only... admit, when down. I see Hyperion, I always think of the Shrike. Because there is a, um, a book series, Hyperion. One of the main antagonists is a creature called the Shrike, which just impels things, like a Shrike does. Hmm. Interesting. So, Pyro is going for the drill on B line. He, yep, one could and... maybe say he's B lining towards the drill. Oh! That one physically hurts. 
<laughs> I, I, I was gonna get some useful commentary, like uh, the spear and Mokaron is going for the C line, but <laughs> Jesus. That also, uh, I just realized. Wait, is that Gatling? Shouldn't be. No, it's not. Okay, yeah, I just got it, that drill went down really fast in the C line. Yeah. It's just triple flamer going in. I'm not sure what their gunner. Ha oh, they don't have a gunner. Yeah, only the Hyperion actually has a gunner, as far as I can tell. And actually, no, we also have a Hyperion, a Hyperion on the Ye old Jankmobile. A gunner. So, Pyro is burning the drill. Insert TF2 reference here. The real question is, is the Pyro's balloon inflated? <laughs> and I'm also expecting to see a boss. Yep. Oh, soon. it is, I think, in the B line. I just saw an outline. It, it in the should cloud. be in it the C in line, the line because that was the second line to go down. It is in the B line. It's actually in the B line. Yes, it is. Also, the enemy, um, the just saying, there is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think 9 ships on oh, the drill, uh, on the base. Hell choppy. Fuck, oh, the where? Base is taking serious damage. Uh, in the B line, uh, Oh, yeah. there. I see it, I see it. It is, it is you can't, engaging you can't, boss. You can't just say Hail Choppy, I have to show it on stream. <laughs> Hail Choppy. Hail Choppy. Um, the base is about to die. Oh, but, um, does the Hyperion have a repair balloon in tow? I nope. No, it nope, does not. they don't. No repairs. Oh, no one has. oh, the base has been destroyed. Yeah, that was nine enemies on the base. I think they have been overwhelmed. Yeah, they weren't paying attention to the base. Yeah, yeah w there was a lot of enemies coming in, and then uh, Flamer DPS. <laughs> Which is not really a thing. Yeah. I believe in a matchup like this, bringing something like Pyramidian that has some good ramming capability. Yeah, but they weren't allowed, o allowed Oversearch. Yes, but you can still bring uh, yeah. Moonshine. It works decent enough. Yeah, definitely. Especially in a clutch situation like that, hey, uh, it might guys. have been able to save him. Uh, we've got just enough time for instant replay. Three, two, one. Oh, they're going on veteran again? Yes. Yes, they are. They have not well, learned their lesson. I'm not I'm gonna be a very bad person right now. Place your bets, everyone. Will they win or will they lose? Ooh. I'm gonna I say they will lose again. This time one of them might try and actually defend the base. They're fighting the Baronies. I mean, it's just a lot of cats. Uh, and a very, very cancerous boss. We'll see. But I'm still gonna stand true to what I just said. I think oh. they will lose again. They might lose one of their ordnance towers. Hail Choppy. Hail Choppy. Choppy actually still has a mortar. Two Gatlings and a Mortar. Okay, enough choppy appreciation for this very moment. <laughs> Ye old Jankmobile is already burning away. Double... Double flaming? Triple flaming? I don't know. Let me check. Triple flaming! That drill. The damage hey. is mediocre at best. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously, it is three fla uh, three oh, what greased what flamers this? going at the thing. Yeah, I don't know how they got, like, how they got. Oh, they down they they deal part. considerably more hull damage apparently. Yes. There we go. That's one drill down. 
Do it again? It looks like they might have learned their lesson from last time. There's two people staying on the base. Uh, three people actually currently. Oh, wait. Although was that another gun? Was that a different gun? Uh, can't be. I'm just gonna make sure really quick. I I mean, I'm, I would be surprised if someone managed to cl uh, click uh, change the guns that quickly. But there is no gun changes. Yeah, there's no They're gun changes. They're all name drivers. Um, yeah, Pyro is going for C line. They have two people dedicated to protecting the base currently. I rather think that two people have decided, elected to stay behind. Okay, Pyro is now parking on the drill. It is. Actually, they're going, going a bit far. Yeah, they're going past the drill. They they are outside of Grease Flamer range, I think. And there's another ship coming in. Cruiser cruising in. Oh, the first defense and placement just fell. Oh yeah. Okay, now they're sh flaming the drill. Two flamers. And the third one. There we go. Three flamers then going. All their They're burning second, for their job. A second defense emplacement just went down. Oh, yeah. Hyperion yeah. coming into sea line to uh, save the day. Yes, but they might have overextended a bit because... Yeah, there's I'm some sure hawks that went past. The tankmobile will be able to get everything that is coming in. Because that's a lot of ships. Oh, the enemy, f uh, the uh, drill on sea line just popped its flare, and it's on its armor. That means that a few more ships will spawn now to defend the drill. Ooh, and the old Jankmobile is about it to is die. Died spot. Okay, Pyro yeah, just ram killed the cruiser. Very nice. The Hyperion is way out of position. Oh, sorry, Hyperion just ram killed the cruiser. Okay. They just defended, so... Fine-ish. Yeah, but they're really far away from the base, considering... Yeah, okay, then the, state, the, know, the drill, drill has gone in. down. Now I'm just waiting for the carrier to arrive. Carrier has arrived. There is seven ships currently going in on the A line. Ooh, it's only you that is a problem. Defending it. That is. Hey, the pyro will probably now get rid of the uh, supply ship. That's what I'm assuming. Hyperion is defending C line, but the base is under no, fire it's, once more. It's going in on. Uh, the pyro appears to be a bit AFK. No, they're they're going home. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're not they're gonna gonna let the Oh, the carrier has spawned on B-Line, actually. They might be able to escape. Oh, they're... Okay. It's spawned in a bad spot. Although the... the oh, oh! Run I just realized that uh, the boss is cock-blocking Suna Morrigan. Yes. <laughs> As I said, they are in a bad spot. Like, yes, they're burning it, but they're also gonna probably die to it. Just by virtue of being rammed. And <laughs> they're getting flamed oh, themselves. They're getting flamed. And they're gonna get cluster tempered tempested. Oh they got their hull back up right on time. No, oh, very nice. Um more defensive placements. Actually the second line is fully down. No, never mind. Oh yeah, um, Oh no, the... The, yeah, the A-line is struggling. Yeah, very much so, and uh... Okay, yeah, the, the A-line's defenses are gone. Are completely gone, yes. And, and the base's oh, armor is also gone, and the base doesn't repair its armor. As soon as it is on the perma, it, it uh, will never get its armor back. That's something I learned from Mr. Lasagna last two weeks ago. Okay, Hyperion putting putting in its weight, but Sunamorakan, Mokaran, has been 
absolutely stunned by the boss. And <laughs> oh, at least they're providing a distraction. <laughs> and Pyro is putting in a balloon. They can't do enough still armor damage. A considerable amount of enemies yeah. on the base. Even though Pyro just pulled some aggro, oh, um, they're still shooting it. Hell choppy in front of the base. Yep, 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 yep. Hail Choppy. Spear and Mokron can't do enough damage to get through the armor of the boss before it repairs itself. Yeah, and the Cinemarkan Mokron is also taking an awful lot of damage. They are oh. in pixel perma right now. And I think there's a few Tempest rockets going for them, maybe? No, not quite, but they're gonna get cluster Hades now. Or flamed, oh, or whatever. Something will kill them. And the old Jankmobile just yeeted themselves into the terrain, it seems. No, almost. The, the boss's cluster Hades saying the choppy. Yo, Jankmobile, ram killed the cruiser. Two more minutes, and they took care of most of the enemies in the A line. Yeah, but, but there's the still the boss, like. On the, base. The, the boss oh, literally that's... sitting on the base, so if it decides to shoot the base, for example, when yeah. Cinnamorican dies. It just shot Cluster Hades at it, it was not. Good. Yeah, like, if they, if the Cinnamorican get down, there's a big chance the boss will just go for the base. And if this is this, like, here, this um, placement goes down. Let's see actually what the boss decides to do. Goes for the Hyperion. It is ramming it. Like all I all am damage. Very much um yeah, sure that the, the boss base. they will not be able to kill the boss. No. Like they, they they can't do enough damage to that thing. Even though they're doing quite a lot of damage right like, now. Maybe if they can aggro it enough, they might I mean that's what they're doing right now. They're very much yeah. pulling aggro. They actually managed yeah. to break the armor here. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the whole damage is going in. Oh, that's the first stage of the boss defeated. Yeah. If they keep oh, but the it, they, it they has like randomly firing pot shots at the base. Yeah, it's just it's back gun. If its back gun doesn't see anything, and it has reloaded. It's it, it's just gonna go for the base. Oh, hail choppy! By the way. Oh, yep, hail choppy. This is getting very close because, like, if the boss fires, it's it's, it's, su it's super tempest at the base. I think it's gonna get it's gonna be done. It's it's only thirty seconds though. Yeah. It's so close. I I think they have it. I think they're gonna make it. I believe. Yeah. Oh, but more enemies are coming in through the B line and the C line. Yeah. But, the, but they're it's not only gonna, 10 seconds, then never Yeah, they're not gonna make it in time. Unless the also, boss... Also, sec fully... second... No, actually... Second stage of the boss just went down. Yeah. Okay, they have Unless it. Unless the boss fully unloads onto the base... Oh. No, too late. There they have go. successfully won. It's over. Very nice. That uh, was a good job. Yeah, so if they get their shit together, they can actually pull it off. Just mass spam of flamer. <laughs> they went for the good old strategy of uh, burn your enemy, and if they're dead, burn them even more. Also, the password guessing game for chaos is officially open. The password. Guessing game? <laughs> Have you never been to Chaos? I... Like, back in the days maybe, but not recently. So... Half an hour, about, before the event starts, they start the guessing game. Actually, I think it's uh, was supposed to be 15 uh, minutes, but on, it was a bit earlier. In an emergency uh, let's actually let Tinvo finish talking here. Yeah? The password guessing game for uh, Chaos is already open. Have a nice night. Goodbye. 
so yeah, uh, Chaos is the event that happens after this event. Well, Chaos is way older, but... It's a PvP event that, where they take the name quite serious. Every round features randomized crews, randomized loadouts, randomized everything. And it's a fun time, guaranteed. And what I was hinting at with the guessing game is that the lobby for the event is always opened at least 15 minutes earlier than the event actually happening. So you can, and you will be giving hints in um, the Chaos server. So you can guess the password and try to get into the lobby beforehand to guarantee you getting a slot. And where are these hints posted? In the Chaos Skirmish Discord server. That you don't have. <laughs> this, I will add it to my collection. <laughs> uh, let's see what I can do there. Um, anyways, this was the gauntlet. I hope you had fun watching, and Zaloon, thanks for joining me. Even though you didn't uh, know what you signed up for. <laughs> well, for me, this was the chaos event. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any final thoughts for the people? Um... Always bring Tar. It is the best captain, so... This okay, is thank you. I have off. to cut you off there. <laughs> no. Um... I will be going live again in approximately 18 hours from now. When it's time for SCS number 420. Only SCS that matters. Um. And for now, I wish you all a very good night. And I see you in 18 hours. About. Good night.